This is module three in the series around Istio. This module is going to be about routing traffic based on HTTP headers. So go to YouTube, search for Turkley space Istio. You'll get the demos I've done before. The getting started is important, sets up Istio and the book info sample app. And then of course there's the second module which is all about the introduction to route rules. So get started there and then you can continue with this course. The concept here is that if the product page submits a request with an HTTP header where the user equals JSON, that they would be directed to reviews too. So based on inspecting the HTTP header, traffic will be directed to a specific version number of the review service. Now to do this, we're going to go to the appropriate directory in the Istio hierarchy of directories. Let's go to samples. Then we're going to go to book info. From book info, we'll go into cube and take a look here at some of the YAML files. The one we're interested in is the third one down, the route rules reviews test dash V2. Let's go in to VI and take a quick peek at how we actually do this, how we route based on HTTP header. So given some line numbers here on four, you'll notice or two line two route rule line four the name. And if the user tries to get to reviews, we first inspect the header, the request header, and we look for the string user equals JSON. If so, then we route appropriately to version two of our um, review service. So let's quit out of here now and go ahead and see if any existing route rules exist. We'll use the Istio CTL command get route rules to figure that out. Let's go ahead and execute that. There is a rule there, so let's go ahead and delete that. Just to review, let's look at what it takes to understand the current route rules with that command we talked about a moment ago. Notice, in fact, there is one. Let's go ahead and issue the command to delete it. We say Istio CTL delete route rule the name of the rule, and then we'll also provide the namespace, which is the default. That's required, even though it's default. Once you do that, it should delete it. Now we'll just verify that, in fact, it is gone, which it is. Now that all route rules have been eliminated, let's go ahead and implement the one we just talked about. That's the one that routes based on HTTP header. We'll go ahead and do an Istio CTL. It's, it's there. Let's verify. Indeed, it is there. We can see it. And so let's continue with this. We have that route rule in place, but we're not done yet. There's a little bit more to do. One of the things we did is eliminate the default route. I wanted to start from scratch and put that back in so I can explain a few things. What we want to do is re-implement this default route. And then that way, for everything but the HTTP header with the user equals JSON, will get routed to reviews one. Now the important thing is that HTTP header with the user equals JSON, that needs to have a higher precedence. So as the next step, let's go reestablish the default route and then explain how the higher precedence for HTTP header can override the default route. Now to just kind of verify, let's go to the product page source code so you can see that user equals component. Very simple when you log in, that's stuffed into the HTTP header elsewhere in the code, but you can see much of it here. Anyway, let's get into the default route next. So let's bring back the default route. The file for that is route rule all v1. Let's go ahead and take a quick peek and verify that the traffic will get routed to version one. So we look over here, kind equals route rule, the reviews default. When you hit reviews, we're going to route with a precedence of one to labels version one. So that basically establishes the default route with the precedence of one. Let's go ahead and run that guy to make sure that comes back into play here. And we'll go ahead and issue the Istio create. And you can see now we have all the rules in place here. Now this listing validates that in fact we do have the reviews default as well as reviews test V2 as routes that are in place at this time. So it looks like we're good. Let's verify one more thing here that the reviews test two is has got a higher precedence and it is two, so it does have a higher precedence. So just to be clear here, we have two route rules in place. One is known as the default rule. It has a precedence of one. It routes all traffic in general to reviews V1. And what we did is add a second route rule 
with a higher precedence, precedence 2, and for any traffic that has an HTTP header with the user equal to JSON, those requests will be, will be routed to reviews v2. So that's where we're at. Next step is to test it, make sure it works. So this sums up this particular module. The idea was that given an HTTP header where user equals JSON, the reviews version 2 will get called based on some custom route rules that we set up with Istio. So we walked through all the details. Hope you got some use out of it and look forward to seeing you in the next video.